Now, a red carpet moment during Sunday's Olivier Awards in London has kicked off a fierce debate about the host, Hannah Waddingham, uh, of Ted Lasso fame and other shows. She was heckled by a photographer. Let's take a listen. <laughs> Oh, she got in a rage there. Um, so the, I think the understanding that we have is there's an official lineup on the green carpet, as they had there, where the press photographers will say, over here, and you look at all the cameras. And this was after that little thing had happened. And one of the photographers said, show us some leg. And she said, oh, my If God, anybody's shown it that to you, don't be, you I'd have shown them some leg. <laughs> well, yes, but I, there are, I think perhaps she was being a bit touchy there, is my personal opinion. But I do think there are situations where it's really quite intimidating. Um, let's get well, to these, but though, you see, the, women. the thing is, they come back and you won't be able to see this but there's a picture of Hannah and she is showing a leg. Yeah. So is it an instruction, a request from uh, the photographer? And I mean, to say you wouldn't ask a man that, well, of course you wouldn't. With no one's, trousers. <laughs> yeah, and, and who's interested in my leg or anything else well, that I've got know, to Well, you never know, You never know. Let's talk to the TV personality and columnist, and indeed our friend Lizzie Cundy, as well as the broadcaster, and not sure of an opinion or two, Paul at London. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Um, go on then, Lizzie. What did you think of all of this? Well, I think Hannah was totally oversensitive. It was over the top and over dramatic and unnecessary. Um, look, she's not dressed up like that to do the ironing at home, is she? She wants to get pictured and she's put on a dress that has got a slit in it. If she didn't want them to say, you know, show us your leg, then wear a trouser suit. That You know, you, she's got to play the game and she'd be the one that would be so upset if she wasn't in any of the papers the next day. And obviously, she, you know, this worked for her because she got everywhere. But, mm. you know, if she, if she wasn't happy, she should have worn a trouser suit. Not a dress with a slit. I disagree. She was the host of the show. She wasn't just the guest, so she was bound to make the press anyway. And it is disrespectful to demand, show me a leg. If she wanted to show her leg, that's fine. And also, she's an award-winning actress. She's worked very hard to get to where she is. She's in her late 40s. She's not a 20-year-old influencer. You know, some 20-year-old influencers go to events, even pay to go to events. Why is she showing her leg in that picture? And, yeah, but, I mean, if, if a paparazzi <laughs> exactly. asked influencer to show me a leg, they will see it as a compliment. They'll see it as direction, but he demanded. It's not for him to demand. And he wasn't on the official press line either. If she wants to show but, her well, leg, she's fine. being so... She's being over the top and sensitive, and you know it. There's no well, harm in just saying, thing. show a bit of leg. I mean, come on, she's been in this industry a long, long time. She knows what the matter. photographers are like. She's dressed up to the nines, mm. and she's actually got her dress. That is showing her yeah. leg. It if she didn't want her. that, wear a trouser suit. I'm going to say you wouldn't say carpet, that to a man. And a pap has asked me to pull my dress out, and short. I just walked away. I'm not just going to get my boobs out because a pap asked me. I respect it's my body. It's very different saying your boob, get your boob out, not than really. just show you a leg. Have it is. My, Buy it is to your private parts. So if a man asks but, me to show well, my leg, no, I'm not showing that. Well, leg. Obviously, there are people who do that. If that request is made to them, depending on what age and stage they are at their career, they may say, this will get me in the paper. Well, a lot of people wear see-through clothes again in the press now. I just find showing bare threat for a man asking, it's rude. Mm. If a man told me to do that, I'd give him a dirty look and walk away, and I'm not even famous. OK, let's move away from Hannah Waddingham. Can I broaden it out, Lizzie? Are there ever scenarios when you're walking down the street, perhaps you're just going to Sainsbury's, minding your own business, and someone makes a sexual comment, not necessarily welcome? I mean, is it always uh, flattering and complimentary? Is it sometimes a bit gross, and you're just like, hang on, I'm more than just a piece of meat? It's a bit creepy. Well, uh, to be honest, I think we're getting all a bit over <laughs> offended and over sensitive these I'm days. Not I'm very right happy. Yeah. <laughs> if a builder whistles at me, I'm, I'm at my age, I'm really happy about it. And if they don't, I'll I walk around say, again and see and if they we, do. I hope, I hope you don't mind me saying this. I can say this because we are friends, but you're wearing the most clothes I've ever seen you wear. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know. I'm so covered up. My, my heating's not on because I've got builders in today, so I thought I'd put a jumper on. But um, look, I think we're getting all a bit oversensitive, over 
offended. We're in this wokery world where we can't do or say anything. Look, as a woman, I feel quite flattered if I get a wolf whistle. And um, I don't get at all offended. Paula obviously is very offended by these things. But I've seen Paula on the red carpet. I'm not lie. Paula, I've seen you on the red carpet when they've said, you know, show a leg and you, you've smiled happily and posed for photos. Show, I've never showed a leg if someone's <laughs> asked me to. What happens, well, though, when I don't you know, think they, there's stop, a problem, they stop catcalling, they stop, you know, noticing you? There's got to be a bit of you that will feel disappointed or sad about that. And I'm sure, as I was saying, Hannah would be very, very upset if she wasn't in the papers the next day or featured in any way. Yes, she was the host of the Olivia Awards. It's one of the biggest, brightest night, full of stars, and she looks sensational. And there is really no harm in it. I think she's been really oversensitive here. Well, she's a strong, confident woman. She's worked very hard to get to where she is, and she deserves respect. If she wants to show a leg, great, but she doesn't want some random man demanding she show one. Well, will so you miss it when it's gone yourself, Paula? And then maybe she should it wear a trouser suit no one, and a no. polo neck like myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't go to a lot of events, even though I'm invited. I wasn't invited to Olivia, but a standard red carpet. When you first go, it's fun, then you get bored of it. So I'm not really but that interested. Would you like to be invited to the Olivia? Would the Olivia, I would like to yeah. go. Yeah, 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 that's a special one, that's though. Special so, one. yes. Okay. Uh, Hannah Waddingham, an incredibly talented actress and presenter and singer. She sang before the show. Uh, began. They were they were great awards as well, um, and that's the controversy we're we're talking about. Uh, Paula, and uh, thank you very much indeed uh, as well, Lizzie. Uh, very good. See you soon. Both of you. Thanks. Thank you.